Hello Fly Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk. Today we're going to tie what's called a blood leech and this one we're going to use some uh, mohair leech yarn and I'm going to show you a little trick I've learned to make this using that mohair a lot more effective. So today we're using a size 10 um, Daiichi 1270. You can see it's kind of got this little bend uh, that just gives your leeches a little bit. Let's get that focused in there. Just a little bit more action. Um, so first off what we're going to do is we're going to use some it's a wine strung marabou and this is actually pretty fluffy right here at the end so i'm actually going to use this end piece oh actually first off i'm going to put a little weight on this and i'll show you what i do here i put my lead weight on just the front half of the hook and I found that gives me a little bit better action in the water. And I just break that off. And then what I do, just get a little bit of super glue in there. Apologize, I didn't the hook in very straight I'm struggling today all right so just kind of crisscross your thread over that lead and that helps that super glue get down in there and tight and then what I do is get my thread once again right down to the barb Okay, and then I'll kind of measure about where I want my tail. Okay, just like so. So this one's gonna be a nice flowing fly in the water. Okay, now this is what mohair uh, leech yarn looks like. And they just kind of braid it on some yarn it looks like and fray it out. This is from Yellowstone Fly Goods. I, I like their mohair. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more fluffy. But what I do is I cut quite a big strand off and then I bend it right down here so I've just doubled it over and then I layer that on my hook and this is pretty strong stuff so typically with mohair I don't even wrap wire through it um, after I'm done because it tends to hold up very very well so what I'll do is I'll wrap this first one across and then the second one I'll actually wrap it opposite and I won't do it near as tight so it's almost like I'm just using that as my ribbing and then I kind of bend that back okay and then all I do is I Build up my head on it. We'll 
we finished, but we're not done yet, so don't turn off the video. Okay, this is where it gets good. And then we take out our trusty wire brush. And when you use two strands of mohair like I did, you just get a lot more of that coming out. I just comb the heck out of it. What this does is in the water, it's got a really neat look at it almost uh, see through a little bit when it's flowing and so it looks really natural just like the leech running through the water and then what I'm going to do is they make this UV glue it's called fluorescing UV clear and it's supposed to um, attract the fish in the water it's quite thin Turn that. use our new little UV light So you're going to comb it out one more time. And there you can see that's just a nice bushy leech pattern. The cool thing about these is you can tie them super fast and you know you can whip these out really quick when you're not talking and telling people how to do it. And it's just always a good effective fly. Not only does it imitate a leech, it imitates a minnow. Um, one thing I've done on these, and I'll just do it on this one, is sometimes you finish your fly and you don't like your tail. Um, that one is a little too long. And sometimes I'll actually do a short tail on my leeches. If you're getting a lot of strikes and you're, you're not hooking up with the fish, and you can actually do this on the water. And I find this a lot when I'm fishing for brook trout. I'll just take my tail And I will just break it off and you can see I've still got you know the nice little taper and it still looks really good and that helps with your short strikes because now the fish uh, tend to get over the hook when they're striking it so that my friends is the blood leech very effective fly works all over uh, the trout can be found. I've, I've even used it in creeks and rivers uh, quite a bit actually. So I've even fished this uh, below a hopper and a cicada um, and actually had really good luck with it. So thank you for watching this episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk and uh, please like and subscribe our video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.